Brother, you got two minutes. Hear words of the Lord. For sure, for sure. Oh, no, I'm crazy. Come, what's up, team? How you feeling? Uh, what's up, man? What's up, man? Basically, we out, we out here letting our people know who he is according to the Bible. Because, you know, the world tells us that we everything. If I ask you your nationality or your race, what would you tell me? African American, right. That's what we all used to say. But that term came out in 1987 by Jesse Jackson. So how can we be African American though? That term just came out in the 80s. See what I'm saying? So what else would you call yourself? You say black, right? But did you... Are we really black though, King? We're not black. See, that, these are the names that they put on us to try to take away what God called us. Because God called us a, spe a specific name. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what he, he called us the Israelites. I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to get to the uh, credit. We the Israelites. You ever heard the Israelites, the people that Moses freed? You ever heard Moses part in the Red Sea and the Israel? Mm -hmm. Them us. I hear to go back to the Bible. They go, wait, is that deep? We the, we the people of the Bible that Moses had freed. And I'm going to show you by these curses. Because he's... The, we ain't Christian, by the way. We, we, we believe in the Bible. We believe that we the God chosen people. In the Christian church, they not going to tell you about these curses. Because they don't want us to know that we God chosen people. But who can do the stuff that we do, though? Think about it. We got to be chosen. Who can dance like us? Who can hoop like us? Who can uh, run football like us? Who got the swag like us? No other race, man. But everybody on that, on that chart, because we God chosen people. So now I'm going to get this on um, with some curses. Just to, uh, to prove you real quick. I ain't going to have you long, but let me just prove it to you. But uh, this Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1, it says, These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who Moses speaking to? I said, he spoke, he's speaking to who? Israel, right? That's right, that's right. So, that's right. Um, so all, if you keep reading on, it's all Moses speaking to is the Israelites. He's speaking to us. So now I'm going to um, read something to you real quick. This Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake you. So God gave us some commandments to keep. He gave us some laws and commandments to keep. And he told us, hey, if y'all don't listen to what I say, y'all gonna have to go through these curses. But our people didn't want to listen. We want to do our want to turn up and do our own little thing. So he put a curse on us. So I'm gonna get a few of these curses. And I'm, I'm gonna prove to you that we the Israelites by these curses. Cause everybody don't fit these curses, I'm gonna read to you. So I'm gonna get a few of them. Cause a lot of them, but I'm just gonna get a few. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. It says, Cursed shall I be in the city, and cursed shall I be in the field. So he's saying, he said, all right, so y'all didn't want to listen to me, y'all gonna be cursed in the city. So if you look around, like, any city you go to, who, who cursed in the city? Like, who's shooting each other in the city? Who, like, who police shooting us? Who, um, who strung out on drugs in the trap house, in the projects? Us. Because we didn't keep the commandments. That's right. So he's saying, not only is you gonna be cursed in the city, he said, and shall I be cursed in the field? So he said, man, if y'all don't want to listen to me, man, y'all going to be cursed in the field. This is going to be y'all punishment for not listening to me. Because I'm the God. I'm the living God. Y'all got to do what I say. That's so right. So we didn't want to listen to him. We thought we were, we were out here turning up, committing adultery, idolatry. So he said, we're going to be cursed in the city. That's right. I mean, in the field. So this is why we went through slavery. Because the most high, this is a curse on our people for not listening to our heavenly father. That's right. So now I got, uh, this dude to run me 28 and, um, I'm going to get 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. So he said, Our sons and our daughters are going to be given to another people. For not listening, he said, Our sons and our daughters are going to be given to another people. So what happened during slavery? When I, you remember the auction block? You ever seen 12 Years a Slave? I can't see that. You ain't seen 12 Years a Slave? Well, any slave movie you see, they got like auction blocks, and our people were sold, and they got sent to different plantations. That was gonna happen. That was gonna happen to us. He said because we didn't hearken to the uh, commandments. And they say, um, and our eyes shall look and fear with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. So he said we're gonna look for we're gonna look all day long, and it ain't gonna be no might in our hand. Cause we wasn't able to be like you ain't finna take my child. We didn't have no machete. We ain't had no gun enough. We just had to watch that. That's a curse. That's a curse. And slavery is a curse. Would you say, would you say slavery a good thing or a bad thing? Most likely they're gonna go to the bad. Yeah. It's, it's a, like punishment. Right? Yeah, punishment like when you when you when you when you do this, when you beat somebody back in, when you got like chains around their neck and, the, and they go on slave ship, that's a curse. That's that'd be a curse. So it's that's a curse and it says that's what's gonna go that's what's gonna happen to us because we didn't want to hearken listen to our heavenly father. This this is what's gonna happen. And it say uh Bro. I'm gonna get a few more for you, King. And it says, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. It says, Thou shalt become an astonishment 
So now he said, so we know back then we knew that we was the king. We knew that our females were princesses. But he Fuck said, now you gonna become an astonishment. We gonna become an astonishment. So everybody look at us like a nigga, or we call ourselves niggas. We call our feet. We look at our females like whores. You know what I'm saying? But that's how we look at our females like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. We look at them like whores. So that's an astonishment. And it says, and thou shalt become in, uh, in a proverb. He said, we're going to have a proverb put on this. You ever heard, if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in the book. You ever heard that? If you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. Mm -hmm. Or like black people love watermelon, mm -hmm. Kool-Aid. That's, in a, that's a, a proverb that was put on us because we didn't listen. And so everybody used to call us kings, but now they, now they call us niggas. They saying you want to hide something from a black man, put it in the book. Everybody joke on us now because we didn't listen. And it says, and a bower among all nations where the Lord shall lend thee. So now we a bower. Now we call ourselves African American, black, Negro. That's a bower. So God say, okay, y'all don't want to listen to me. Y'all went from being called Israelites. Now y'all finna be called black. You know how that low, you know how low that is? We calling ourselves black king. Like we kings, but we call ourselves black. Uh, That's the most high, man. That's the most high, cause we didn't listen. I'ma get uh six eight. Six eight. Six eight. I'm gonna get six eight for you. This is the last Chris I'm gonna get for you too. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. And it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now I'm finna get the meaning of Egypt for you. So Egypt just mean um Egypt just mean bondage. Because we was in Egypt, I mean we was in captivity under the Egyptians. So that word Egypt just mean bondage. So it says uh, uh Exodus 22. It says, I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the Bro, land of Egypt, minutes. out of the house of bondage. So that word Egypt just means bondage. So when, so when he said, um, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, he just means slavery. Again, with ships. So he's saying, this time, y'all can go into slavery by uh, ships. Because when we was in slavery under the Egyptians, we just walked in and walked out. But he's saying, this time, since you didn't want to listen to me and hearken to me, you finna go into slavery by ships. So who, who the only race of people that went on slavery by ships? Black. Black, so-called black. But what God called them, though? What he called us? Who we talking to? Yeah, who we talking to? Israel. Israel. We be the Israelites. Con, it's a few more on this. And it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way which I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. There, there you shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So he said we're going to be sold unto our enemies for bond, bond men and bond women, which is slave women and slave men. So we're going to sell them. We're going to be sold to our enemies for bond men and bond women. He said no man shall buy you. So no man ain't gonna buy us out of our captivity. You had Malcolm X try to get us out, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, the Black Panther. They tried to get us out of our captivity, but we couldn't. Cause we stuck here. Like, okay, so like with those, I, I believe like once we get a high speed could stand up for us and we are close to the um basically close to the goal, they would kill our higher leader. Or they'll try to okay, just like Mac Mix. They yeah. try to put ears, they try to put the whole the whole um the whole Islam on Mac Mix's death. Yeah. They say yeah. Islam killed him. Yeah, I, I look at Mac Mix. But really though, but really how the story they how the story they had it, they had two people. They had two people. One, they tried to make as okay, he was part of Islam, but he really wasn't. So they switched to another door and try to put it on him, but it's not making sense. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I study, I study um, Nur Muhammad, Farrakhan. I study all of them. So like, like this is is just like a another opening for me. So. For sure, King. For sure. It's, uh, it's our history, man, King. You go into all our history and all that. And basically, this is what they're trying to hide from us. Because I, before I, before I um start reading it, I thought it was a white man book. Like this is the reason why I didn't never pick up the Bible. I went to church, but the church, the pastor wasn't teaching me nothing. So I'm thinking this whole time this book a white man book. Until you actually read it, you'll kind of realize, like, hey, you heard of um, Nat Turner? He read the Bible and started a whole slave rebellion. Why do you think he did that? Because he came, he read the Bible, he actually read it. And he feel like, man, this what the Christian church telling me, this is not what in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So then he started he start having a whole slave rebellion for this book, from, this, from him just reading this book. It's just like education, basically. Like, for the devil, he paid people to teach them how to read and stuff. Yeah. Like, we, we just ain't had nobody to teach us how to do anything. We had to had to pay people, had mm -hmm. to, you know, go around and ask others, okay, can you help me do this, help me do this, but, yeah, white man, they'll look at it like, no. Right. They'll just shut you down either way. Right, then that's why, um, that in slavery, they ain't even what you, they ain't really want you reading. They find yeah. that you're reading, they'll cut your hand off. They're trying to kill you. Especially they catch you because reading this. Yeah, the shit, they tell us, if we, if they, okay, if they tell us something, we can go ahead and, okay, think about it in our brain, like, 
Yeah, I know what that means, but you don't know that. I know that because I've been doing some reading and right. studying. And that's what they don't want you to do. Yeah, they don't yeah. want you to. They don't want you to find out who you is. So they gonna damn all this stuff in history. They gonna give you English, math, stuff that we don't really need. But they trying to keep us low, so they gonna give us all this bullshit to try to hide who we really is. All this like they go back. To, they know what they doing. They spend billions of dollars to try to keep us distracted. Damn, the sports, the sports industry, the music industry, uh, the school system, all that. It all plays one part to keep us distracted. It's just like neighborhoods, basically. I mean, you go in the black neighborhood, what you got on every corner? Liquor stores, fast food. Yeah, boys in the hood. They bust it in the boys in the hood. You barely you barely got whole foods in your community. Whole right. foods are expensive. You know? And that's that's where you get, like, most of your stuff is grown. Like, grown foods and stuff. It's not just, like, produce shit. You find it, like, probably Walmart or some Wendy's or something. You go to Publix, that shit is, it's really homegrown. Like, yeah, that's why it costs so much. Exactly. Huh. Feel you on that, King. I feel you, I feel you. You know what, little son, man? You know, you know some stuff. Smart. That, that's what we really out here telling our people, man, that we need to come back to the most high and keep this commandment. Yeah, Cause. Man, I, don't, I don't know, because it's hard to get everybody on the same path. It's just, it's a brainwork. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got a piece up for that. Cause everybody, that's the thing, though. Um, Everybody not gonna listen. You know, you are gonna have a lot of our people don't wanna listen. They want they wanna to continue to see, you see how everybody come together when one when one black person gets shot by enough by police or something, then I wanna protest. Yeah, but not when not when we killing each other though. It's cool exactly. when we kill each other though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying that's one time we come together, which is that's bad too. Yeah, that's bad. Like we all man, we, we should be we should be out here in every community, man. Hey man, put the guns down. If anything y'all beef, y'all can box or something. Y'all don't gotta pick up no gun and shoot each other. You know what I'm saying, King? You know what I'm saying? Like you said about the, uh, everybody ain't gonna, I got a priest up on that one. Everybody ain't gonna hearken. Uh, this, this, this is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 3. And it said, and it shall come to pass that when any, when any shall yet prophesy, oh, no, 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 Zechariah 13 and 9. Eight. It says, no, I'm, I'm gonna get eight first. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, says the Lord, two parts thereon shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left thereon. So two, like two thirds of our people, like, they ain't gonna hearken. They wanna continue to be out here doing all type of stuff. They wanna continue to do all type of wickedness. This on the back, King? No, I thought it was on the back. So you gonna have, you were right when you said that. A lot, a lot of our people don't. A lot of our people like this place. A lot of our people love killing each other, love beating each other up. So they ain't gonna wanna hearken back to the Most High and listen. He said he knew that. That's why he wrote this. He already knew our people weren't gonna listen. And also our people are stiff-necked people. Our people don't wanna listen. So he said this was gonna happen to our people. And it says, um, and I will bring the, the uh, third part through the fire, and I will find them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord is my God. So out of all these people in the world, like one-third of us going to be saved, but two-thirds is going to be cut off. That's a lot of people. Two-thirds is a lot of people going to be cut off because our people don't want to listen. Oh, that's right. Just continue to do all type of stuff. That's right. Thinking this world going to last forever. This world ain't going to last forever. Tell you, right. a lot of stuff going on that the, the new the new is set up the distraction. They're not gonna tell you every single thing that's going on. But this this coming to a, this coming to America right here for the for the rape, robbery, murder, and all the crime that they done to us. God going God looking out for us. He said you did this to my chosen people and you have to pay that. We gonna have to pay that. And, he's, and also our people too that don't want to listen. They hard headed. So the most I say I'm gonna okay, y'all gonna go through this too and this, this place is gonna be destroyed. Babylon the Great. It's Babylon the Great gonna be destroyed. Too. Show, show. I give you a few uh, commandments real quick. Con, con. So this uh, um, these some commandments that we gotta keep. Cause this is the reason why we in the uh, situation we in right now because we didn't keep some of these commandments on until, and we still not. Let me get this. This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse uh, 27. It says, um, "Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall I mar the corners of thy beard." So you gotta, you don't got no bald head. You got no bald head. Kind of like we not supposed to, um, we not supposed to shave our head bald. Like Michael Jordan, then who else? Uh, who? Tupac. Tupac. Yeah, we not supposed to have it all the way bald. Kind, kind. We ain't supposed to have our head all the way bald. And they say, uh, neither shall I mar the corners of our beard. So we can't cut our beard off. Like whatever you can grow, you can grow it. But we not supposed to cut our beard all the way off because that's, that's a sign of manliness. You like, this how you can tell the difference between a. A male lion and a female lion because the mane, because the beard. Mm -hmm. So our, be our beard is like our manhood, our manhood. So he said we're not supposed to cut our beards off. And then I'm gonna get 28. He said, "Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I'm the Lord." So we're not supposed to make any cuttings in our flesh for the dead. Like, have you seen? Have you seen Black Panther? 
Yeah, I was.